Hi Stitchers. Um, I'm here to do an update um, for the months April and May. <laughs> yeah, it, sorry it's taken me a while to do this video, make this video. Um, and life has just been really busy. Um, I've I've had birthdays going on and um, anniversaries and um, belly dance performances and um, school. My daughter daughter's school ended um, last week and this is the final final week for me in my school until it's summer. So yeah, it's just been crazy running around. And this is actually my second attempt at making this video. I tried the first time. Um, for some reason, um, my editing program didn't like the first one. And so, yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to do my little music intro anymore <laughs> until I figure out what's going on. So, oh well. Anyway, so let's get started. I have my notebook, so if you see me looking down, that's why. <laughs> so I have so much to show you, I just want to make sure I get it all and show you everything. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show um, are my finishes. I don't have one finish with me right now. Hmm. probably stop the video and, uh, it's in my daughter's bedroom I, I finished uh, the fairy celebration by Passion Rosomi I know I'm saying her name wrong but yes I might just have to show it to you in the next video because it's going to take me a while to do that so anyway I'll show you the other three finishes I do now the first one is Peter the Polar Bear. Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't know exactly where the, the camera is on my tablet. So here, anyway, this is Peter the Polar Bear by Brooke Nolan. I'm sorry about the noise, uh, the fan. I'm upstairs in my apartment and it's um, no air conditioning right now. And you probably hear all the kids in the backyard and playing. And it's, yeah, they have fun. It's summertime. It's time to have fun. Wait, this is the other one I finished. This is a bookmark. <laughs> yeah, right here. This is inconceivable. This is um, something that I kind of made up myself. Um, I forgot to bring the book upstairs with me. It's from uh, Better Homes and Garden. Um, 200 or something cross stitch patterns in it. And anyway, I just picked the lettering and the little buttercup. It's uh, kind of from the movie uh, Princess's Bride. I love that movie, so I just wanted to bookmark, and it's also part of the, um, I did for the quote sal, uh, Chris Costage is fun, so yeah. Anyway, the other finish I did is Sarah from Labyrinth. This is designed by, I think, her SD shop's name is Fiddlesticks. I might be wrong. Um, if you type in uh, Labyrinth Cross Stitch Patterns on SD, you'll find it there. Anyway, um, I changed the pattern a little bit. I added beads to her hair and her bodice and her brooch down here. And I didn't do any back stitching right here. Um, I just didn't feel like it. So, 
Um, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, frame it or if I'm going to make a pillow. Maybe a wall hanging? I don't know. I'm kind of wanting to make a pillow up out of it, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And to be honest, I'm not sure if this is complete finish because I'm, I want to add a little barn out somewhere on the piece, maybe like over here, because in part of the movie, um, Jared, um, or the Goblin King, um, he shapes shifts into an owl, and I just would really like that on the piece, so maybe, I haven't decided yet, so, okay, um, my whip, I have left that I didn't finish. Sorry, I have most of my stuff here on the, the ground. So I'm bending down a lot. I'm sorry. Here's the mother goose sampler. Or no, the mother mother goose. Nursery sign <laughs> nursery rhyme sampler by Joan Elliott. Um, I think last time I saw it, I didn't have her feet finished. Um, I pretty much got that done, except the back stitching. And right here is where um, the start of the three little pigs are going to go. I also started the um, part of the piece where uh, the, the cow jumped over the moon. And like I said... <laughs> in uh, my my last video, um, this has been giving me some frustration because I am, or I was, off camp, and I was going to put it away because I just I didn't want to deal with it anymore. But I changed my mind, basically because um, my daughter and the all her neighbor friends really think this pattern is cool and they love to see me working on it and they're excited about it and so I'm still working on it I did I did figure out what I did wrong mostly I'm still off like by one but I'm going okay it's just one stitch it's not going to matter that much <laughs> at least that's what I tell myself um so I'm still working on it. Um, I'm just not in much of a hurry to finish it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like the kids are really loud, but well, it's just part of the neighborhood around here. Okay, so look at my list. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yes, it. Okay, so the next thing I worked on in May was part of Stitch Mania. Now, I did things a little bit differently than um, what everyone else was doing. I didn't do 15 starts. I just decided to do what I could. Just do what I can. And basically what I really wanted to try to do... Um, sorry, excuse me, was uh, try to get as many as the advent uh, calendar ornaments done from Brooke Nolan's and just try to get as many stars as I could and that way I can work more on those during the summertime. So, anyway, I'll go ahead and show what I've been working on. It, they're not a lot of progress in here. They're just, just starts. So this is the first one is Mary the Mouse. Oh, oh sorry, I forget where the camera. <laughs> I did a little bit of her crown right there. Okay, this is Cashmere the Camel. I did a little bit of the 
present. This is um, the hedgehog. I don't. I forget the first name. <laughs> anyway, a little teacup. Ooh, that's dark. And maybe out here. I don't know. It's really dark. I'm sorry. I I'm stitching it on red Ada. I forget which one this is. And again, it's really dark. Lighting is not too good right now because it's around six o'clock at night and um, it's the only time to do it because it's been really hot. <laughs> I have no air conditioning up here. Okay, this is Duncan the dog. Or the start of it. Um, yeah, I I don't have any pictures to show of those because it's um, on my tablet. <laughs> the pattern, or their PDF, so, uh, but they're out there, you can go to, um, Brooke Nolan's, uh, website, she has them there, or you can also get the pattern from Crafty, they have them on there too, so, okay, what else? thing I started is um, a Father's Day gift I'm going to give to my dad. Um, he's in a barbershop band and he likes to sing barbershop music. So this is uh, Music Music by uh, American School of Needlework. And I'm doing these little bears right here. This is what I have done on it so far. Oops. I know that's really dark. So I'm hoping to be able to get that done by Father's Day. Maybe. Okay, the other one. is a kit I got from uh, the world of cross stitching. It's a little hedgehog with flowers. And that's what I've done for it. The other start I did was um, Joan Elliott's Rainbow Trail. <laughs> that's what I got down on it so far. A whole lot. I just started on the lettering. I won't have to remake this video with the kids yelling. Oh well, I hope it doesn't bother you too much. And here comes my daughter. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, the next new start I did was um, Cassie... I can't say her last name. I, I don't know. But anyway, this is the Black Forest cake. Ooh, that is really dark. I'm sorry. Anyway. Oh, and you cannot see anything. Ah. Maybe over here. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. I'll probably have to show that again in a better video. Um, yeah, anyway, and that's one of my favorite pieces, too. And I started it because it has um, a lot of sentimental meaning for me. 
Um, obviously, black forest cake is one of my favorite desserts. And when I was younger, um, for my birthday every year, my mom would make me a black forest cake. So, <laughs> that's why I got that. Okay, I'm going to do a piece. Okay. Hmm, what should I do next? Should I show you my haul or my crafty things? Or my weird UFO. I think I'm going to show you my weird UFO I found. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hurt my back the other day, so I'm a little sore. <laughs> Twisted the wrong way. Anyway, I was digging through my fabric the other day because um, I was working on um, a little pillow ornament thing. I I finished I finished a bee cross stitch a couple of months ago. And I decided to give that to my uh, daughter's teacher for uh, end of the school year thank you present. And anyway, I was looking for fabric, and I found a really forgotten <laughs> cross stitch. This is a stamped piece that um, is quite large that my stepmother gave me. She actually gave me quite a few of these and it's supposed to be a tablecloth. Um, it belonged to her mother who used to cross stitch and so she gave me all of them. And, um, I worked on them for a little bit but I'm not much into stamped cross stitching so um, I kind of stopped. But I want to my daughter. Stop. 